hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing this baby shower setup if you have not checked out the previous videos on how i made these balloon clouds and how i made these centerpieces please go and check those out before we get started don't forget to like the video subscribe it really helps and goes a long way and if you're new here welcome to the channel i hope uh <laughs> I hope you learn some things and if you have any questions please put it in the comments box and I will be happy to answer any questions you have but let's get started you guys so the client did um, need to use my pipe and drape for this setup so I am using the double layer chef fine I believe I got this from tablecloth factory and this is the ivory one and then I also have two ivory polyester and right now we just rearranging it we was discussing design and how everything you know should be set up and that's what we're doing right now so um here i have two polyester backdrops that i will also be using to cover the poles because of course we want a clean sleek look so we need to cover those poles guys so these are just the regular um, polyester and i use a zip tie to um basically bunch it together to cover the poles a, a tip that i learned when i first got this pipe injury from yes event decor and more on youtube if you don't watch her please check out her channel she has a lot of great tips um for business and you know design setups and everything else but today oh guys look at my new baby you guys see my ladder i just for this ladder because I want to get into some silly installs which is not a joke you guys it's not so I'm doing these clusters these I um I made well not a cluster this is like a whole little garland piece I made these at home because they was going on a ceiling I figured I wanted to have the ceiling pieces pretty much completely done um, other than adding on the five inch balloons because I didn't want to have to rearrange them so these were pretty much already made i made i did two of these like two different pieces because i wanted to uh, break it up i didn't want to have like this big um section of some balloons on the ceiling i want to have like a piece there a piece there and then i wanted to have clouds flowing in the middle kind of thing so right now i have um put up the first little piece and now i'm adding on my five inch balloons and, and I will leave the, of course, all of the colors that I use will be in the description box. Um, they will, they always there in each video as well as the sizes I use and where I purchased them from. So you can always find that information in the description box. And the letter I purchased from Lowe's, um, the brand is Little Giant. And so far it's really nice. <laughs> I was not, I'm usually not scared of ladders anyway, but I really felt like, you know, secure on the ladder. So that's that. But I'm just adding on these five inch balloons. And now we about to add our first cloud. And I didn't record each cloud I added on because the, um, the process was basically repetition. It was the same thing. I'm using fishing line to add the clouds. And for the cluster or the, that little garland piece that I add, I used the 260 um, balloon because it was going directly onto the ceiling. Um, whereas the cloud will be hanging from the ceiling. So, of course, I couldn't use a 260 for that. I'll be using the fishing line. And these clouds are no joke. Um, it was definitely much easier to add, of course, the little garland piece that I made. Because it was going directly on the ceiling. And I didn't have to position anyway. It didn't need to have a height. Whereas though the clouds, they had to be at a certain height. And they, you know position a certain way so they were much more tedious and uh much more of a headache than i thought it would be and i'm glad everything was pretty much pre-made since i had got a u-haul for this event because it was so big everything was pretty much pre-made but it definitely was a lot trying to um, position the clouds in a certain way and just finding wh where to put them at as well because once we added one i was doing one at a time of course so i'm like maybe we should put that here maybe we should put that there and like we had three hours to set up but still those little things does take up time um but now moving forward because this was my first time doing clouds and i really wanted to you know do something a little bit extra for this event 
because I done it before and now I I know kind of how I like things and you know what I can do and of course every venue is not the same so it'll be different for the next time but for the most part I kind of have a sense of you know how I would do my clouds so this is what I'm doing now and I had Noelle helping me which was a huge help I'm so happy she came because she was able to be uh she was able to stand back the whole time and then let me know like you know move it up a little bit on the left or move it down on the right so that was an adjustment within itself and um and how I hung the clouds on the um ceiling with the 260 which was really nice because it allowed me to adjust it pretty easy I kind of made a, a loop at the top if you haven't checked out we balloons they have a channel and they have a video on clouds and I did my clouds a, a, a lot smaller than what they did theirs because of the venue size that I had if I was in a, a huge venue that was higher ceilings I would have made my clouds bigger that way take up more space but because this venue was much smaller I did smaller clouds so um the way I tied it though back to how I tied it basically I used the two uh, the fishing line and I made a, a a loop at the top and that way I put it around the metal poles that you see at the top and then that way I was able to adjust it either you know tighten it up or loosen it up so back and forth and now I'm adding my last little piece I only had two pieces of these that I made at home and I'm adding this on again using fishing line and look at the lead I love the lead it went through the like you can have it go through couches and stuff like that a table if you need it to it's just um, really nice so and that's what I'm doing I'm adding on that last little piece of garland then I'll be adding on these five inch balloons to detail it these are probably the easiest part of this whole setup this was definitely probably <laughs> the easiest part adding um, these little garland pieces because they was going directly on the ceiling with the 260 uh, they didn't need to be positioned in any kind of way so, and then that last cloud, we did five clouds. I did five clouds all together. I would say do definitely do a minimum of three. Um, three is always a good number, but I wanted to do a little bit more. And that last cloud, we end up adding right directly on the wood backdrop. It was supposed to be a sign, but the sign didn't work out. So we were trying to figure out what to do with the last cloud. And then we was like, let's just put it on the backdrop. And it kind of blended in really good. So that's what we did with that last cloud that's currently sitting on the sofa. So for this backdrop, I done a open hollow frame before. However, I didn't know this was five uh five foot in person is like huge guys. And you know, I inflated pretty much everything at home. If I knew if I known this was gonna be a little bit bigger, I would have inflated a little bit more balloons. I should have inflated, even if I didn't know. I feel like this was something um, was a big lesson. I should have inflated a little bit more balloons, and um, that was just a mishap on my behalf. I feel like inflation definitely take up time when you're on site, and because I had the U-Haul, you want to take advantage of every little thing possible. So I should have definitely inflated and made my clusters. You know, everything should have been ready on site. So that was a big lesson for this one i am using the h method um to attach the balloons onto this particular backdrop um, which you know worked out perfect i use gaff tape when you see on the floor i use gaff tape and i use scotch blue tape and i'm just adding these clusters on i'm using the neck to tie it on i'm either using clusters of eight balloons or clusters of six balloons i was going back and forth i was just picking up whatever i had and of course i'm doing the block coloring you guys but i am making the block a little bit more um, thicker um, the color a little bit more defined so instead of just one cluster of that color i may use two clusters of that particular color just so the section is a full section of that one color um, that's pretty much how i've been you know liking my design these days so this is what I'm doing, and we are quickly approaching the bottom. Um, and then these kind of hollows out. You can't just do the front. You also have to do the sides, which the the left side was fully covered for when you walk into the venue because you walk in from the left side. But the right side, um, it wasn't fully covered, which I felt completely horrible about. But you can't tell from photos, angles, and things like that. And then on the right side was just where the food was at. So no one would have been walking back there. 
However, uh, we kind of like ran out of time and we just needed to get out of there. So everything looked good. Um, but of course you can get photos from like all different angles, but like from the front, it was totally fine. So it was a big lesson, um, on my end on just making sure I have enough balloons inflated and you see you guys I put that on there it's really these hollowed out ones they are not the easiest to do and then I just added that quad of four there and then photos you can kind of see it from the back and I was so annoyed I'm like ah um, by the time you guys see this video, it should be photos on my Instagram. You'll see, like, you can see those, like, two of the balloons, that purple peeking out on the left side out. So, I'm about to start inflating some more balloons because I ran out of that bag I had. And Nicole, um, Noelle, sorry, Noelle's going to start adding the five-inch balloons on here. So, I'm breaking down the ladder, which you guys see was super easy. And it has wheels, you guys. It has wheels. So, I just be rolling it around. I love that ladder. All right. <laughs> so, now I'm about to start inflating the balloons. I'm going to stop it here because it was just so much going on. Um, we put the centerpieces on the table, as you see, I'm walking back and forth while she is adding on those five inches. And basically for the bottom, just a quick um, tip on how I secured it. Because the balloons were coming outwards, I put gaff tape on the floor. You guys know I do the H method on the floor, and that's how I secured the balloons at the bottom so they don't move. And you can see the little purple on the left at the top peeking out. But this is the final outcome, you guys. This is how everything turned out. It was still very, very beautiful. Beautiful. The venue itself is gorgeous, and that's why I, I really wanted to go all out. They had a floor wrap of the um the mom to be um and it was really nice this is the centerpieces the table decor this is supposed to be my last setup of the year but it's not i have one more you guys so stay tuned i'll see you in the next video